Welcome. This is uh, our inaugural BBB Off the Clock, and I thought it was really fitting to do it with Brooke Moore. Uh, Brooke doesn't know why this would be so fitting. I don't. But <laughs> about 10 years ago, mm -hmm. you were an intern. Yep. Uh, with Ken and Oliphant, mm -hmm. and he brought you into my office, yeah. and that was about the same time that I started with the BBB. Okay. So we kind of came to this industry <laughs> Yeah, at together. the same time, so yeah. I thought that you would be a perfect person for BBB Off the Clock. I am honored. I'm so happy to do this with you today. This is That's great. Right. So we got just a few simple questions. Quick, All right. I want to turn the camera on you. Okay. So this is me interviewing you. Okay. No in-depth questions. Actually, no questions at all you can have for me. Oh, my gosh. You just have to answer questions. All right. All I'm right. up for the challenge. So another reason why I like doing this interview with you is because you're a hometown girl. Yeah. Dayton, Ohio. Yes. Um, that's where I was born and raised. You um, are here. You're um, with your family yep. here. Um, tell me something about Dayton that uh, you like the most or something in your Dayton history that comes to mind. Um, I just think Dayton has a lot to offer in terms of, you know, the g growing businesses downtown. That area has been super impressive over the last few years, especially having grown up here, uh, here as a kid. Um, just with the breweries and the restaurants downtown, there's just so much to do down there, and I just, I love it. Okay. And we asked you to choose a place. You yeah. You gave us a couple. Yeah. Some of them weren't open this time of day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so, North Lane Market, why North Lane Market? So, it's really funny, my husband is not from here. So, when I told him a couple of my favorite places when we first met, I listed Dorothy Lane Market, and he's like, your favorite place is a grocery store. And I'm like, yeah, but it's not just a grocery store. It's, they have food that they make. I'm trying to explain it to him. He finally came here and he's like, I get it, I understand. Um, but it's just great, I love the killer brownie. Who's gonna turn that down? Um, you can find donuts here, you know, I love donuts. Right. Love donuts. Um, so it's just, I, I mean, the food's great here. I love Dorothy, and the people, they're so, the boys are so friendly here, I love it. Yeah, it's a great place. Um, speaking of food, yeah. you love food. Uh, yeah. You're very open about that. <laughs> yeah, don't hide it. Food. Yep. Um, I was doing morning shows uh, with you. You yeah. were uh, the beat reporter, mm -hmm. and I would come into the studio, and it was National Oatmeal Day, and you didn't know it, and I brought you oatmeal. But you know what? You're also kind of picky. Well, how so? Because you didn't like your oatmeal cold. This was it? Was like a mucilix cold oatmeal yeah. was in there. I think and you explained that beforehand, though. I did. You said this place is known. It was at the Racket Club, yeah, right? It was the racket it's club. known for this great oatmeal, but it's going to be cold. That's right. And I tried it though, you so I'm not that it. picky. You did try it. You did I liked try it. it. It was good. Okay. Good. <laughs> yeah. All right. Um, 2017 was a big year for you. Right. One word to sum up 2017. Transition is what I would say. Do, you, do I need to explain that? Sure. <laughs> Just give One word, and then I'll give you <laughs> and an then opportunity also. to explain. Um, yeah, so, so 2017, I'd say the big thing for me was I worked third shift at Channel 2 for, I've been there, it'll, gosh, are we going on eight years now? And so for like six of those years, six to seven, I was on third shift, and I got promoted in uh, the summer of 2017. So a new role, uh, evening anchor, getting to work with Mark and Brian now, and then different hours. So it's just, yeah, my sleep schedule, my life kind of did a 180 there, having been on third shift for so many years. Yeah, and you have been doing a great job, by the Thank way. Thank you. I get to see you in the studio, but also yeah. watch you on television. Thank you. And actually, uh, my former car also made its debut on one of your newscasts. Oh, really? No. Um, there was something going on downtown at the Vault Restaurant. OK, there yeah. There was some activity there. Yeah. And I would park there to go to the gym that I worked out <laughs> yeah. at. And you did uh, one morning, the whole thing, and my car was there the whole time. In the background, just in the background, front the and time. center. Oh That's my gosh, right. it was accidental. Uh -huh. uh, 2018. Yeah. So a lot of promise, a lot of hope. Mm -hmm. Give me one word hope and then explanation. Um, happiness. Um, I think this year I'm really trying to focus on ways that I can give back to the community and that I can make other people happy, make a difference here in the Dayton area. So looking for new volunteer opportunities, new ways to kind of reach out. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Uh, now a couple of fun things. Okay. Uh, I love April Fools. Okay. <laughs> can you tell me of a funny April Fools joke you pulled or that was pulled on you? So this is not going to be funny for anybody except for my family, so I'll apologize ahead of time because it's really just not funny. But when we were kids, my mom, I mean, we were young, probably like nine, and my mom came home to our house. We lived in Oakwood, and she was getting uh, food for the day, and she told us that the grocery store was robbed and that everything was gone. And as kids, we really thought that that, we were like, oh my gosh, this is so, and she played it, but that was the first time I think we ever really understood what April Fool's was, and we're like, 
she's so clever, she's so funny, and we, we totally bought it. But I'm horrible at that stuff. I'm not good at playing pranks on people. Not I feel bad. I, I feel bad that. for tricking I, people. I'm I like, oh, that. I regret it. But I regret not as it. Gullible anymore. Mom no. couldn't pull that joke I hope right I've now. I've matured a little bit in that so way. I there was an armed gunman behind you in this grocery I store. might believe that though. I don't know. I've covered enough stories. I might believe you. Don't do it. <laughs> My favorite one. Uh, in the, I, we were young. I have two sisters, mm -hmm. and I got them up just after midnight. Yeah. Um, to tell them it was time to get ready for school. No, uh, and they did it. First, and they said. <laughs> yeah. And did you feel bad? No. Okay. Not See, at all. you're good I've, for that sort of I've thing. I've got even greater <laughs> jokes, but that'll have to be for in studio. Okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, so you and Mark Allen. Yeah. Working together really well. Yeah. So he's really tall. He is, and so is Brian. They're both really right. tall. Right. So how do you uh, make up that difference? High heels, very high heels. Yeah, I think you're setting me up for something here. No, he uh, he's taller than six. I don't even know, six two, six one. So is Brian. Uh, so when we first started that show, especially for five on two, it's a different format. It's a unique show, and we do a lot of like walking around, a lot of interviews. And so the solution was, and I, it looks like an aerobic step when you see it in person. I'm sure there's, that it's a more official name than that. Um, but there are many of them. So when you come in the studio, you'll see them. You have to be careful not to. Tr Brian trips on them a lot, so he hates them. And our joke is that we should just dig a trench. Yeah, just across the street and they can just walk in that and then we'll all be tall but it really is just about framing because you know when we don't use them I look so much shorter than them that it's just I think that's distracting uh, yeah so speaking of Mark yeah tell us something that the viewing public might not know about Mark keep it safe <laughs> keep it safe okay all right all right Mark Even I got, I got his you jokes are not that safe. well so that's what I was gonna say I think when you watch and 512 has really allowed us to be conversational and to kind of break away from the traditional script of a newscast. So you might have this impression already, but he's really funny. Mark is really a funny guy, and he does like to joke around a lot. So even during commercial breaks or, you know, times where we have a, a minute to talk. And he's a huge movie buff, you know. He's seen, like, seven or he's seen a bunch of the Oscar nominations this year, so he loves to talk movies. But he's really funny. He's entertaining. Okay. Yeah. Right. Well, Brooke, we appreciate you being our inaugural guest yes. on DVD Off the Clock. So, because Kenan brought us together for the first time, yeah. I'll tag Kenan in this. Do it, yeah, so do why it. don't we close out okay. saying hello to Kenan. All right. Oliphant. Okay. All right. All right. Hey, Kenan. See you, Kenan. <laughs>